Well, I'm doing social work right now because what I want to do, what I have to do, what I will do is that I want to go actually and work with the real hardened kids like I was because I know where that breaking point is like I answered for my man. I know for me it was when, you know, at the end of the night, nobody there to cheer me on, you know. These guys cheered me on, but they cheered me on in the wrong direction, you see. So, I mean, we all want somebody to love us to care for us, to look at us and build us up and say, yeah, you are somebody. Although I had that for my grandmother, you know, I needed more, like we all do. I needed my community, and unfortunately my community was full of gang members, drugs, guns. That's what it was. Any other? I'm glad you didn't say public speaking. <laughs> obviously, you have no skills in that area <laughs> and comfortability in that area, so I I was pleased to hear it was not public speaking. Oh, uh, uh, between the two uh, places that you lived, did you find it uh, uh, hard in transition moving to Kentucky? Actually, it was easy because, like I said, once I made that decision in my mind that I'm not going back, I mean, I go back, but I'm not going back as I was before as I came right. in. Um, it's like a transition from a ladybug to a butterfly, you know, that's how I look at it. I went in there rough, but I came out pretty, you know. So, um, and like I said, um, the transition was, the transition was, it's lovely, man. Like I said, I'm here today. I'm happy. You know, I, I wake up every morning, I can look at myself in the mirror, and I'm blessed. I don't have no problems with my past because I'm, I've accepted it as well. It is like I said, I chose that as a child. I can't blame myself now, I think, as an adult. But then when I chose that lifestyle, I was a kid. So when my kid acts up at 11, 10, 12 years old, I'm not going to hold that against him for the rest of their life because I'm going to say as a parent, he's a child. He's going to make a mistake. You know, so yeah, I made that mistake, and unfortunately, it cost me a long time. But fortunately, I'm happy that I did go through it because it changed me. And it brought me here, and like Kentucky is peaceful, loving, caring, and that's what I needed after coming out. Everything was going to be new anyway, so I said I might as well go somewhere else because after 10 years, you got to imagine everything is new. They didn't have the internet and all the things. I'm still learning. I still have to call him over in class. And, hey, what do, how do I do this? You know, because I missed out on all that. You know, but the transition has been lovely. Kentucky, beautiful women. You know, good food. Obviously, you know. Wild cats, so it's a lovely transition, man. Lovely. Any other questions? Please ask them, because I know it's something on you guys' mind that you want to know when you see these rappers or these kids walking around with their pants hanging. Why are you doing that? So ask. Don't be afraid. Ask. No.